Um, I want to. I don't want to s- start the way we usually start. Okay. Fuck I'm, that shit. Yeah. I'm cool Welcome cool. to the podcast called uh, "The Boys Who Look Like Shit." We are the boy who looks like shit, and one fucking you wait. You wait more than me. I don't think that's what we want to start. That was. That's not. The, well, you took a shot at me first. Well, you tried to take a shot at both of us. Collectively. Time. Okay. Collectively, yes, we do look like shit. Welcome back to the boys who look like shit. The podcast. Are we actually gonna change the name to that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're back. The big humble's back. Two people asked for it, so we did it, and it's gonna be delivered. That's all we needed was two people to ask. Uh, we'll and back at any point. And one of the people said, "Please come back. I need more racism." Yes, I don't think we can facilitate that <laughs> which, anymore. Which is a uh, climate. What we are? We're a racist podcast. I think we were a racial, mostly you. We're yes. I will stand up, hand up. You talk time. a lot of shit about us whites. No. Yep. Is it undeserved? Even shit? though we're clearly the better race. I uh, see. Now you're doing it again. That's, that's you're causing separation. But you're saying we're not, which is talking shit about white people. I, um, no, I don't think you guys are rank, the better. Okay, race. rank the races one and two: white people, Egyptian people. Egyptian people are better. Yeah. Why? They enslaved the people first. I we're thought. I thought you thought that was bad. I mean, the, not the way they did it. We're oh. the first people. Didn't they enslave Jewish people? Yeah, like, that's bad. Like, given only what happened later. Only according to the Bible. Which so, who, who did you enslave? So, did you enslave black people? The truest sacred no, we, text. Egyptians <laughs> were the slaves. So you enslaved other Egyptians? No, they. No, that's you bad. weren't. You were pharaohs. Well, some of us. Yeah. Pharaohs aren't slaves. Here's what I'm gonna say: Egyptians enslaved people and built the pyramids. White people enslaved people and built like the white country, house. the White House, the World Economic System. Yeah, bad. Not good. Uh, both no. those things are bad, but you know. pyramids are cool. Yeah, but you have to go and see. Capitalism's it. like whack. Okay, tell that to your fucking clothes. Well, I have to buy clothes. Do you? You could make them. I'm not gonna do that shit though. Why? Because that's like effort and time. It's like people who are like all like bitching at Amazon right now. Like, yeah, it's bad, but like that's the final boss here. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, don't inconvenience I mean, yourself because like <laughs> no, you got so no, many more steps to take no before we get to Jeff Bezos. No one's giving up Amazon. No, that's crazy. No, no. It is funny to see everyone um, talking on Twitter about... Dude, we went to a store the other night, and they told us to use Amazon. Yeah, that's true. We went to Target. Yeah, inst- another fucking conglomerate. Instead of like just being, oh, you could order it from us, and they were like, just go to Amazon. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. I mean, he was smart. Yeah, he, sh- he was telling he, the truth. He knew what was up. Uh, today is June, right? Yeah, yeah June 29. Yeah. <laughs> Who gives a fuck what that date is? Dates don't matter. No, I don't. Well, now um, I have something to like uh, keep my week in check again because oh, it's yeah. Monday. Hey, at I least we'll know what day yeah. Monday is, mm-hmm. and uh, there's nothing else. No, other days don't matter. No, um, the shitty happy birthdays today. Happy birthday! I mean, Kawhi Leonard is the best one. Um, we'll see, but also boring as shit. Uh, Richard Lewis from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, Kawhi His over Richard. His birthday. Um, Craig Sager. You remember him, the N- yeah. the NBA commentator with oh, the suits? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Bob Seger. Like, I, was a, I do remember Craig Seger. This guy, like, uh, took his son's kidney or something and then left him out of the will. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fucked? Yeah, and his son's name is Re- Craig Seger Jr., too. R- yeah, real bad guy. So, yeah, everywhere he goes, people, aren't you uh, Craig Seger's kid? <laughs> yeah. did your dad take your well, I don't think they have to then? ask. Yeah, true. Are That's- you breathing that heavy? Did you hear that? Yeah, I want to make a, like a political thing, but you could take the mask off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, what? It's, just, it's just fucking up the sound. If he wants to wear it, <laughs> just don't just don't breathe so deep. I, I I didn't think it was me. Oh, I mean, we were talking, so it had to have been. Can you turn me up just a little bit too? Yeah, it's you. I can still hear it. Also, it it's like being filtered through a mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I promised my girlfriend I'd wear a mask. No, yeah, do what you no, got to yeah, do. No, yeah, for sure. I'm just joking. Is my mic on? Yeah, it's yeah. on. C- you can hear me? No. I can't hear me at all. I can't hear you at all either. I think you just heard Morgan louder. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I did. Maybe turn the breathing one down and mine up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, we'll figure it out. We're yeah, getting we're back. back. Yeah, we're just fucking A little three-month break. And finally, happy birthday to um, one of the biggest celebrity assholes I've ever met. Who? Can you guess? Well, we shouldn't do that. Comedian? Gary Busey. Yo, yeah, for sure. That guy sucks. Yeah. Yeah, but I think everyone knows that. There was a time when we, um, he comes into uh, me and Morgan's former job a lot, and he uh, <laughs> always treats everyone like shit, um, gets in fights with people. 
that one time me and Randolph rented a limo. We were talking to the limo driver. We're like, have you ever had an asshole celebrity? He goes, oh, hands down, Gary Busey. <laughs> and this is like the cheapest limo service yeah. we could we could find. Also, just like a random guy to yeah. see any and, of their drivers. And he's like, yeah. And we're like, oh, yeah, we know that, actually. We're aware of that situation. It's like two people. It's like uh, Gary Busey and like Andy Dick. Like everyone. Yeah, would... Andy Dick's crazy. Gary Busey's not. Yeah, but like Andy Dick isn't an asshole in the sense of like he's an asshole. He's the asshole in the sense of he's trying to be insane. Gary Busey's just an asshole. I think Gary Busey's crazier than Andy D- different, Dick. Different different asshole energies. I think Gary Busey's crazier than Andy no, Dick. No, I know it's crazy. I think than Andy Gary Dick. Busey is like legitimately like every day he wakes up crazy. Andy Dick like wakes up like kinda hungover. Then he starts drinking and then he starts Yeah, but that, like that makes Andy Dick crazier. No, he's the, like choosing I, the guy who's crazy. just on go from when he wakes up. Like Andy Dick could just sit there all day and just like uh, Gary Busey has to get up and be crazy because he doesn't know any other life. Andy Dick has like a few sober no, moments. Gary in the morning. Busey is like regular. No, no, he's not. Yeah, he is Gary when he comes Busey in. Is, What's, uh, what makes him crazy? You, just like the things he says, like on record, like the whole Buseyisms. Like he breaks everything in his life down to like acronyms. He's, well, yeah, he's he's, a, he's an idiot. No, he's crazy. <laughs> Andy Dick is way crazier. Okay, absolutely. Agree to disagree. They both suck. Um, also, I just want to point. I out don't agree to disagree. I agree that you are wrong and I'm right. Okay, I just want to point out they're both white and not Egyptian or black. You want to talk about crazy no. Egyptian no, people? No. <laughs> you ever heard of this bitch Cleopatra? I thought you were gonna make like a nine eleven joke, but why? Because Egyptians didn't do nine eleven. The yeah, Saudis right. did, and uh, white people. It was no Egyptians. I think one or two of the pilots were Egyptian. Yeah, why? I think they- calling them pilots is generous <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> one or two of the pilots. I didn't know that. Oh, then we should go crash into the fucking pyramids. See how they like it. I don't think we were crashing. I think we were just it fucking. Iraq had any let's get, let's get world all the, wonders. Let's get all the dudes would just go there with your <laughs> AR-15s and just shoot the shit out of the pyramids. I mean, yeah, we're kind of doing that already. Yeah. Maybe not the pyramids. You know Egypt's in Africa. Yeah, I'm aware. But it's like, it's different. Yeah, it's not African. Yeah. I mean, it is, but it's not. But like, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's like Staten Island's in New York City, but like, yeah. I don't get that reference. Well, people in New York will. The two. Do we have New York listeners? Several. I thought all our listeners were, one is from Portland, one is from, I don't know where the other guy's from. Portland. The racist guy. Sutter lives in Portland now. Oh. Hey, Sutter. We we can't be a racist podcast, because we have a white guy, a black guy, and an Arab guy. Yeah. Oh, no, we, for we sure. Got everything. We're not, we're a sexist podcast, if anything. No, we we're can't not. talk about sex, because we don't have any women. That's true. So, but we could talk about race. Yes. Because we have one of each. Yep. We can't talk about sex, and we can't talk about LGBTQ. But that won't stop us. Oh, issues. yeah, we can yeah, I guess you're right. I'm gay as shit. Yeah, no, yeah. So I I'm a gay you. motherfucker. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. For us. <laughs> Why? It's 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 uh because you're gonna end up like Jenny Slate. What's the uh? You're gonna get a <sighs> how stupid cartoon. is that? It's so dumb. Netflix pulled a fucking Community episode. Yeah, uh, they're gonna take away that episode of The Office where Michael has everyone put like the races on their heads, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Yeah, it's stupid. that scene is so funny. It's all like that's not. That's not the change anyone wants. No. no one's like, I have to watch this racist TV show. We're like, defund the police. And yeah. it's like, okay, we'll take off this episode. <laughs> yeah. We're like, what the fuck are we talking about, dude? Like, that's you just not piss off more people. It. Yeah. And also, like, all these people, like, I'm not going to voice this cartoon character anymore. Like, no, no, keep your job. Because you've, yeah, like, worked to a point where you yeah. make so much money doing it. Just donate that shit. Yeah. Like, they're, yeah. oh, they're not going to get a new person to voice Cleveland. They're just going to, like, not have the character anymore. Yeah, they're going to write him out. Yeah, like, well, just, no, stupid. It was Cleveland voiced by a, a white guy? Yeah. yeah. Who? Uh, he kind—I of, don't know his name, but he looks like John Reap. Like he's very white. Huh? Yeah. That's funny. It's not like he's like <laughs> like this motherfucker looks like he just. But does, isn't that part of the funny? Yeah, it's a cartoon character, dude. Yeah. It's I mean, like, like Apu too. Everyone was like, "Yeah, that's racist." And it's like Matt Groening does like. Yeah, but that's kind of the point. Yeah. The point is that's funny because yeah. it's racist. And he's also like the smartest person in Springfield. Yeah, he's like, the only one with the redeeming qualities. <laughs> <laughs> he like owns a Everybody business. Else and, sucks. Yeah, yeah, that's really funny. Um, so RIP to, um, bars in the LA area. Yep. But we can go to Orange County and go to bars if we want. Is that true? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think San Diego too. No, uh, I think, yeah, I think maybe San Diego. Cause the comedy store in La Jolla is still doing their, uh, little fun party time. Oh, good for them. Um, our comedy store was open for one night and yep. had to close and now they laid us off. Yes. So RIP to our jobs. Yep. I'm unemployed. Uh, officially unemployed. Does that mean we get more from unemployment? Because I've been reporting what they've been paying us. I don't know. I have to. I gotta fix my unemployment. Yeah. I was getting so much money. So I'll, I get, I'll get more money now. Stuff. Yeah, yeah probably. probably. Dude, 
quarantine fucking rips. <laughs> I'm you, can, so, you cannot say that phrase I'm anymore. I'm making so much you money. You cannot say rips anymore. Rips is yeah, canceled. Yeah, I'm taking it back. Fuck that guy. No, nah, it's canceled. Quarantine rips. It's, it's, it's a hard RIPs. Rips. <laughs> Quarantine rest in pieces. Is, is, is. Um, also, RIP to the, all the black people that got killed. Um, so how's your quarantine been? Um, besides the aforementioned black people getting killed, pretty chill. What do you think is worse, the hundreds of thousands of people dying from quarantine or the six or seven that have been killed by black people? I mean, by uh, cops. Uh, <laughs> I had that backwards. Yeah, you did. Uh, let's see. What's worse? What's worse? Well, eventually, I think we're going to put an end to coronavirus, right? Eventually. At some point. Maybe. At some point, it's probably. If it doesn't put an end to us. Yeah, but if it does, like, go for good job, coronavirus. You, you were doing God's work. Yeah, it should kill us. It's like medicine for the world. Yeah, no, for the for the earth, yeah. Do you ever think about how cancer works? Uh, how it's just like one cell. It keeps spreading and it keeps finding ways to not die. Yeah. It's kind of us. Yeah. But we cancer keep, doesn't like We keep mutating each, to not die. Like earlier, if you have like earlier. cancer in like your pancreas and like cancer in like your colon, like they're not going to like battle with each other. Right, they work together yeah, to I kill know. you. See, we're not that good yet. Well, we're working together to kill the earth. That's a good point. As a as a world, we are all collectively bad. I'm not gonna say all of us. You drive a fucking diesel truck. Look, I'm an American. We're the worst. Yeah. But I'm sure there's like some indigenous culture. We're the strongest cancer. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. We're like uh, super duper, uh, stage four like brain cancer. Yeah. You're but coming like, back from this shit. But like, if everywhere else in like the collective people body of the U.S. of the world was just trying to be like brain cancer, that's why it's so bad. Because we're the worst, but all everyone around the world's trying to be like us. You know what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. It's yeah. not funny, but <laughs> it's true. I think we should find a vaccine for racism, right? <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it, buddy. A vaccine, mandatory for racism. vaccination for <laughs> racism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, people won't even get the vaccine for no. coronavirus. Like, yeah. There's no way. If there was a vaccine for racism, you think people would fuck no? Racist people would be like, no, they'd be in denial, right? I'm not racist. I don't need it. Yeah, they would say um, it's not real. They would say Bill Gates is trying to insert shit into their bodies or something, and they don't have to take it. Yep. Would you rather be racist or have autism? Well, I never had autism. What if the vaccine to racism gives you autism? Would you still get it? I don't think I need it. Why? I don't think I'm racist. Oh, you're one of those guys. Well, I don't think. Why I, not just take it though? It just cures it. So just in case you have, I don't it, want you autism. Have it. I don't have tuberculosis, but I get that. Fucking oh, shot. In case, oh, ooh, just in case I in catch, case it in flares case up. I catch some of the racism. Yeah, you fucking a lot of white bitches. Yeah, that's true. I no, I'm not. Well, before this. No, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to hide that part of your life? You were fucking. That, that's how I get me too. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sexually abusing anyone. I'm just like, oh no, he fucked me. Yep. He is not down. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you I didn't get the vaccine. That's how it's, you're gonna get me too. I got the vaccine. You're gonna be like, yeah, I fucked him, and then I found out he's a racist. <laughs> he never got the shot. Am I gonna catch it? What would you call the shot? The racism vaccine. Yeah. Ugh. See, I, I'm bad at this, and it's just going to make Think me racist. Funny. I'm just thinking of a slur. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, I was, too. Yeah, it's, it's like, this isn't going to work. <laughs> Josh, you got one? It was your idea. Uh, the Cracker Jack. The Cracker Jack? <laughs> the cr <laughs> That's what you want people to inject into their bodies is the Cracker Jack. I was thinking of a play on words on the word Cracker, too. <laughs> so just <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the slur I was thinking of as well. It's the easiest one. Cracker? Yeah. Well, it's not the easiest one to think of a play on words, but it's like the safest one. It's kind of offensive the honky when shot? you guys say it. The honky shot? <laughs> why, why would the vaccine name be cute? <laughs> why are you trying to think of a cute thing? The honky shot? The cracker jack? Who's going to fucking put this in their body? White women. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. Oh, I'm going to get the honky shot. I'm going to get my honky shot. I'm going to get my honky shot. They I'm would just ask for the sticker team. that said, I got, got my honky, honky shot. shot. <laughs> and they'd be like, I got it. No, you didn't, bitch. Oh, we can't say bitch. I think my, can, no, no I think my sister I, told me not to. Why? It's offensive. It is. All right. So unless you're talking about a dog, I want to bring instead of calling uh, people Karens. Like, what was wrong with white bitch? Karen kind of rips though. It's fun. You got to stop saying rips. It's over. No, I don't. Yeah, I can no, say whatever is, I want. Is so good. He didn't invent the I know, word. Rips is great. Uh, 
Karen's fun. Yeah, it is. But it's like it's mm. like a fun thing to watch happen. It, no, because I just want these people. And to now like, it's easier to search for these. See, here's why it's like not that much fun, or not as fun as it should be, because they're always like destroying the like the Karens are the one like they're winning. You know what I mean? No, they're not. Kind of. They're getting exposed. Yeah, but they're not getting beat up. But now, but when you when you come up with a name for these women, because now when you call a woman a Karen, she she'll pull back. Yeah. Or double down if she's a monster, but. But it's going to go, like, half and half. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, like, I just, can we, like, just, like... People okay. don't want to be called names. All right, you got them. You're going to get her fired. Now turn the camera off and beat her ass. Yeah, well, you don't got to beat up old women. Yeah, you can. You can, but it's not a good I look. Mean, if you were to beat up an old woman, you think you'd feel good afterwards? If some guy, if some old dude, some old white guy, was just, like, in front of my car calling me a nigger... I ain't, I'm talking, about, I ain't talking about a white guy, bro. We're oh. talking about old white women. Yeah, well, fucking old well, young women. Beat their ass. So if like a fifty year old woman came up and said some bad shit to you, and I'm with a girl, you would no. Would You're I by yourself. Ass? I'm by my ass, and she's just saying, "Yeah." Like, is she like coughing on me and like getting real close? No, stop trying to add shit. I'm you just said, I'm "Turn questions. off the camera and beat their ass." And then I'm when I ask questions. you, would immediately I, you say no. If so, if old white, wo- nah, I didn't say no yet. I just want to get all the circumstances before I give a yes. You would hit an old white woman. How you aggress- don't think you'd go to jail? How for that? aggressive is she being? Verbally, very. But she didn't touch you. She didn't touch you. She didn't cough on you. She didn't cough on you. She's she she's wearing a mask. I probably laugh. I I did that the other day. There is like a homeless guy outside like my corner store, <laughs> and he had no shirt on. What does like, homeless guy have to do with an old white woman? Because he was just like, because he was just like, I'm just saying my reaction to him. You're gonna was, beat now. You're I'm just saying trying to take re- credit for not beating up a homeless guy that yelled things at you. No, I'm just saying I you're la- a really good person. <laughs> I dude. Wow, <laughs> that must have taken a lot of restraint to not beat a crazy homeless guy's ass. I laughed at him. That's, I'm saying I think that would be the same reaction as I would have to. Whenever people start saying like racist shit. They don't shit tell like people to serious... beat, beat up old white no, women. I'm not going to take out my phone. Why? You should. That's nah, the only dude. way to get justice nowadays. Nah, I believe in street justice. Just beat her ass. No, no. Okay, but you just said beat her ass well, again. I, I You're not going to beat her ass. I can't beat her ass because so I'm, I'm You're like, going to call somebody? Black dude. No, I'm not going to call somebody. I don't know what I would do. Who is allowed to beat her ass? Another woman. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know Martin. Luther Ooh, King. that actually would be the sickest thing ever. So, like, if I was getting like just berated by some wait, white what lady, were you about to say? No, nah, let's just <laughs> now. I want to hear this. <laughs> if I was just getting berated by like some white lady, some old white lady, if I could just like tag in like a white girl, be like, "Yo, it's your turn." Like, you want to be down for this shit? Like, go up her ass. That'd be sick. Yeah, and especially with the girls you like, they would fucking. All right, they all right. got like muscles and shit, bro. Yeah, they do. You like them big, bi- those huh? big women. <laughs> <laughs> I like all women. Yeah, but you especially like. I like who likes me. You you date with? Oh fuck! This could be such a good joke, but I don't. I forgot how to do jokes. <laughs> something about how they have shaved head and you get you slap a new haircut or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some time. I'll figure it out. Shaved head and slap a new haircut. I haven't thought of anything funny in three months. Well, I thought of one thing funny. Okay. It's okay. the only funny thing I've thought of in three months. <laughs> I was watching Survivor, and they always do a thing where, like, the people's families come out, mm-hmm. or, like, one family member comes out, and they all get sad. So I was thinking if I was on it, I <laughs> it would be really funny to have my stepdad come, and he runs out. And I'm like, oh, Jeff, this is my stepdad, and we hug, but then we just start making out. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff's just like, uh. <laughs> that's, a, that's the only funny thing I've thought of this whole oh, quarantine. That's That's disturbing. Yeah, it's really fucked because I actually have a stepdad. Yeah, too, yeah, no. So I'm picturing him when I think you, of uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> you pause like an hour and a half of like our weekend to go <laughs> like, have like a, a, a Zoom with him. Yeah. You're just like, how, how fun? How funny if you're watching Survivor though, and a uh, guy just starts that'd making be, up that'd his be hilarious. stepdad. Be, yeah. And then just plays it off like it's but normal. Like like old school Survivor, like 2002 Survivor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah OG like, what the fuck? Like it's in like a standard definition. It's just gross. The Survivor's so good. I started watching a new show. Um, it's Japanese. Uh, the floor is lava. No, like real Japanese. Okay. It's called Documental, but it's this guy. It's like this uh, the the top dog in Japanese comedy um, invited ten people to bring one million yen, which is like ten thousand oh, so dollars. Yeah, all these too. people are like scraping to get like borrowing it from people yeah. trying to. But he puts them all in a room, and then if you laugh, you get kicked out, and the last one standing gets all the money. Does, wait, do the people know the pretenses before? Yeah. Okay, they know. So they're all just, they're, it's 10 comedians all trying to make each other laugh. Oh, that's actually really, really Dude, funny. Dude, it's incredible. It's so fun to watch. It's exactly what it's like hanging out with comics. Yeah. It's just yeah. like a bunch of people doing stupid shit that doesn't make any sense. But like, yeah. Huh. 
All right. Who's your Who's the ten people you want to put in the room? I mean, it could be anybody. But who's the ten people you would like to see do the competition? Well, I don't care. All right. <laughs> ten anybody. Okay. Just ten comics. I w- I wish that I like knew who they were though. It'd be more fun. That's than just un- random Japanese people. But it's like ten like they're not like headliners and stuff. It's just they are. It's like oh, uh, it's like varied. Yeah. Okay. What? Because they also have like this thing in Japan called um, respect, where <laughs> so they they like call each other my senior or my junior. Mm-hmm. So they're like, you have to do that. You're my junior. And he's like, I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, you have to read it all, but we have that too, right? Not like that. That's like different. It's Out like here, you want fucking every man you got to suck my dick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ten years from now, you're gonna hear that again. No, I won't. If you, I'm not gonna be alive in ten years. Josh, did you go to any protests? Yeah, I went to like two or three. Two or three. He says. I went to three. One, in, two in Pasadena. One I feel in like Claremont. three. Three's a good number if you. Uh, they had one in Claremont. They had one in Claremont. Were you the yeah. only person? There was a lot of people there. Damn. Like, you been to Claremont? There's like eight hundred people. It's like very white, right? Very white. I mean, yeah, it's out there. It sounds like people Claremont are, just. Sounds where is like a, where is it? It's past Covina. Yeah. But still east. Yeah. Like yeah. twenty more minutes. Some in- Damn. people were walking their dogs in the protest. You know, they're making. Yeah, <laughs> I saw some of that. Some I'm walking. surprised I didn't see more when we were out. I guess in Hollywood, people probably don't want to. Yeah, where did I see it? Uh, Beverly Hills. Yeah, that makes sense. Some other dog. Yeah, wherever there's white people protest. Yeah, I oh. tried to get one going in my neighborhood, but no one even heard of it. <laughs> like <laughs> what, what, what now? Yeah, the LAPD's doing what? Yeah. <laughs> but, but Morgan, you know, since you're our only black uh, member. Yeah, the three, yes. About this uh, Black Lives Matter thing. Um, about the Black Lives Matter thing. Yeah. Yes. Do you bank. think it's true? We even asked you a <laughs> oh question. You just stumbled all the way through <laughs> oh it. Oh, my God. Do you think it's true? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I think. I think, I can, think. I be, can I be honest with you? Yeah. The other night, we hung out uh, when? Saturday night? Yeah. Um, I bought a Kenta cloth to wear today, but it was it didn't ship on Wait, time. did you buy it like after? Yeah. Like right <laughs> when we were talking about it. I was like, I got to wear it on Monday. <laughs> Um, and it was supposed to be here, but I guess it's coming today. So oh, it's really now I just own a Kenta cloth. Yeah, now you gotta like explain that to somebody. <laughs> Do you want it? Can I give it to you? No, as like a, sh- a sign of solidarity. <laughs> oh, you have one already? Is that why? No, uh, I mean, no. I've had Kenta cloths before in my life, but not, I'll give you mine. One. I don't think I. And want then it. you owe me big okay. time. Okay, I'm you gonna, owe me big time. I'm it was like twelve you. bucks. I'm gonna buy you the nicest pointy bed sheet I could find. Okay, two holes in it. I do need a nice new pointy bed sheet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in the KKK, unless KKK stands for Cool Kids Club. I don't think you should be in that club. Which either. I used to be yeah, in. Um, you're a little too old for that <laughs> one. <laughs> grew out of the cool. Um, um, it's really hard to think of stuff when you haven't. Thought of stuff and yeah, talk yeah, this to sucks. Yeah, this, it's weird, but we'll we'll get there. Josh, I just uh, wish my brain was b- back. Do do you think that Black Lives Matter? How do you feel on that? Wait, fill in the blank. Blank lives matter. You only get one word. Black. Okay. Good job. But yeah, I do. Not the word I would have chose, but disavow no, rape. Disavow rape. Disavow rape. Rape's awful. Um, but for a couple months off, I'll give you that <laughs> yeah, one. That was pretty good. Yeah. No, but I definitely um. I'm as an Arab or just brown people in America owe a lot of everything to black people. Everything? Everything. Because when black people were fighting for Speak truth. for equal rights, they weren't fighting for just black people. Like it made it easier for everyone to come here. Like no, I'll be honest. My parents' parents to come they here. They might have made it easier. Yeah, but we might have made it easier, but we were for sure <laughs> just fighting for black people. No, but, but uh, You but, guys were a byproduct of that, but Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If they would been like, okay, you guys can vote, but we're close to the borders. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Run it back, baby. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm very glad both you guys are came to America and are are you know. Well, I mean, I oh, you came to America too. Succeeding. You, you, you came to America too. Right. No, my parents were born here. I'm really glad that uh, <laughs> you guys found opportunity here. It's nice. It's nice to see. You know. And Thank if you. I can help in any way, let me know. You have. You're um, you're an accomplice, Matt. In what? Well, no, remember when that guy said, don't say ally, say accomplice? No. Oh. Well, you got Oh, I wasn't listening at the protest. Okay. It was no, actually was, that day was very hot. I was staring at some uh 
hot asses around. I'm like, you know what? I didn't want to get into it, but that was that was that was those going protests on. were lit, baby. Yeah. It was hot as shit. It was hot as All shit. All kinds like of bad. First bitches. times we've been outside. In like <laughs> yeah, months. dude. And there's ten thousand hot yeah. women. <sighs> that was yeah. I was I was protesting with a boner. <laughs> I had a banner. I just stuck it in there and walked around with my hands free. I've, I've been watching a lot of like black movies though. The I'm, black I was, shows. I was hard know. to end a uh, white supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you been doing? Are, you've only been swiping on black women. Is that the thing? No, I don't do online dating. Actually, I downloaded an app yesterday What's for the called? first time. Hinge. It's not the first time. The first time I've like tried it. Uh, the first time you tried this app, or the first time you tried apps. Like a dating app. No, you had Bumble, didn't you? Yeah, for like a day. I always delete it because I don't get any matches. I'm too ugly for online dating. <laughs> that sucks. I have the same problem. You I don't know why I'm laughing. They should do an online dating, but for only personality. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be much better, but it'd be a little bit better. I don't think you'd find any of the girls that you'd want on it. <laughs> why? Because all the hot girls' personalities get like scooped up. Now. I don't care about. They don't need to be hot. I just I look at the inside. Okay. Of their pussy. See, that's one that's going to come back in 10 years. You're not going to want out there. Why? People have sex consensually. I will consensually look at the inside of a pussy. Okay. That's actually my opening line as I say, hey, c- would you mind if I looked at the inside of your pussy? <laughs> and they just immediately write it down, take like a voice note. No, some for some reason they disappear. So there must be a glitch. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I downloaded a new app too. What? It tells you where like uh, glitches are in the matrix. Oh, I heard about that. Have you gone? I haven't gone to one, but there's one that's like kind of close to my house. Go to it. I'm Have you heard about this? What's it called again? Nope. Uh, no free ads, but it is called. It's like this thing that's supposed to tell you where like. Random dark... Nautica. It, it gives you like. Uh, Rando Nautica. Um, Rando Nautica. What's it called? Coordinates? Yeah. Longitude, latitude or whatever. And you're supposed to go and it's supposed to have some dark energy that you and can Then you experience. could just like open it up like right in your phone. But also this is. Gonna, I know I'm going to sound crazy. But I could have someone back this up. I saw the moon disappear the other night. I know. I know. I know. You know what? It, would be it sounds cloud? crazy. No, I don't think it was did behind. You, did you blink? No, I was driving. And I was on the 101. We were heading north. It was probably around like 10 o'clock at night. 10 to like 11. What and size moon? It was uh, the crescent little sliver guy. Waning or waxing? I don't fucking know, dude. It disappeared. Mm. I know that. <laughs> kind of losing credibility in my book. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to call up the other person who was with me, but. They'll they would back me up. Just saying, I saw the moon disappear for a couple. What do seconds. you? Well, okay, but what do you mean disappear? It like there were no trees like that would have like covered it or like clouds or anything, and it just like went away. For Obviously, a there seconds. was something. I don't know. It you, so you so you of all the things that could have happened, you think what happened is the moon disappeared and then reappeared. Maybe that cartoon from Despicable Me stole it. Have you oh seen yeah, that? grew. Maybe grew got it. And then put it back. See, the, you guys have learned fucking nothing throughout all this whole entire movement. You're supposed to trust and believe black people. I will I, I will you, believe I you if you don't say shit like, I saw the moon disappear. <laughs> Maybe you're bad for the movement. Maybe I, I... Don't say shit like that. Yes, I am. But... Because this is what happens is you go, hey, I saw the moon disappear and also defund the police. And you go, well, based on the first thing you said, I don't know about the second thing. Yeah, but you also... Little, you no, seem a little it's like the Patrice, It's the Patrice O'Neill bit. What is? Uh, the guy could do a bunch of Who's great that? things. <laughs> he could do a bunch of great things for like 20 years, but then if he sticks marbles in his ass once, yeah, he's a guy who sticks marbles in his ass. Yeah, But doesn't erase the 20 years of fucking Keters he was Okay, on. but I'm just saying, you didn't see the moon disappear. I know it's like cool to believe that, but... I saw what I saw. You're hurting your credibility, and you don't have much left. You said Kalani's a bitch. That was between you and me. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that. Well, she didn't tip me. She only oh. tipped him fifteen dollars on a hundred. Wow! And she made fifteen percent makes someone a bad person. No, nah, she well it does if you're like rich. And she was annoying. You're not in her pockets. Is that a phrase? It sounded good. It is a phrase. Stay out of his pockets. Stop pocket watching. Um, oh, I already did the survivor stepdad thing. That was next. That was awkward. <laughs> 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 I know. I said it to my sister to see if it was funny. She was like, "Don't say that out loud." She was like, "No." Her reaction was, "You wouldn't take me." And I was like, "You didn't even fucking listen yeah. to the funny part." <laughs> no wonder I don't know how to be funny. They don't fucking listen to me when I'm funny. <laughs> so annoying. They're just like regular people that just nothing I do is funny. They're having a lot of fun on Saturday though. I'm in jail. You're not in jail. It's I, not oh, that yeah, bad. Sorry. I'm in uh, white jail. It's, that's what I imagine <laughs> yeah, white jail's yeah. like. <laughs> white collar crime jail. I still get fed. Yeah, you could have your friends over, barbecue sli- yes. a little bit, yeah, play poker. Great. I haven't boys. had anyone over. 
Um, we were outside. No, we weren't. You just said we were. Pl- you I were had lots of people over. You just said we but were. But it's all people I trust. There. Yeah. And me. Yeah. I. That. I mean, I. I trust you enough. I'm clean. I do a fucking podcast yeah, with you. Sure. I have to trust. I you. I shower a lot. I actually don't trust you, but I'm trying to learn how. That's you're doing better. Trust black people. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to do with the fact that you're black. <laughs> Does, um, doesn't it though? A little bit. That I don't trust you? Yes, a little bit has to do with the fact that I'm black. No, nah, I don't think so. Actually, I'd probably be way more untrustworthy if I was white. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Okay, okay. so the black white, part's the only We're thing the ones me, who fucking yeah. invented corruption and... The black part's the only thing that's given me credibility. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's why I thought I could trust you. <laughs> Turns out, nope, you're just like a white guy. A white guy, no with, offense. A white guy with hair like that can't be trusted. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dreads, a white guy with dreads cannot be trusted. Never. But at least your dreads don't smell. White people's dreads smell. I got news for you, buddy. What? It's Yours do? Just, it's not just the white people with dreads. Your dreads smell? Huh? No. Not dread, no, white people smell. No, but white people's dreads smell. Oh, no. My dreads are, Well, they kind of smell like uh, charcoal. How often do you... I was grilling yesterday. How often do you wash them? Once a week. You have a charcoal grill? No, I was at... Uh, oh, my yeah. house. No, that was Saturday. You uh, double charcoaled this weekend? Yeah. Shout out to my boy, Ed. He became... <laughs> fucking a wild boy, dude. I didn't know this was the term either. My friend, Ed from Australia, he got naturalized on Thursday. Hey, Loy. Yeah. Well, I'm a natural. I'm an American citizen. Yeah, so we had like a little barbecue. Good for him. Yesterday. Let's clap for Ed. Yeah, hey, we got more white guys. This is awesome. Um, Australian counts as white. Yeah, oh, it's very white. Oh, I, yeah. In my mind, Australian's like the third white. Yeah, it's like um the it's low. Like it's the American, lowest white. American, European, English. I'm like think like English specifically than Australian. Yeah, because in my mind, if you if you're white but don't speak English, like that, like I, like German. Like, what you, yeah, what, you're just German. Yeah, what are you, then, what right? are you doing for me? But then, like Irish people, like that's white. What about like Viking country? Yeah, they're white, but like the motherfuckers are white. Yeah, they're very white. Ah, I don't know if that's. I have some way. coffee. <laughs> that's how I just picture they wake up in the morning. <laughs> that's how you. Wake yeah! up in the morning. <laughs> Hey, got some coffee! More it's, oh, the rape and pillage. Actually, I don't even know how to do like a Nordic accent. Yeah, it shows. I'm kind of the accent guy. Ask me to do any accent. <laughs> do an Australian one. Hey, Eloy, Ahmed. All right, do a uh, Saudi Arabian accent. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, <Lo? laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Hello. <laughs> He he got it. He saw a friend across the desert. Uh, do a Mexican accent. Hey, what's up, way? You like my Nike Cortez? Get pasa, way. <laughs> That's Nike pretty good. Cortez, way. You're friends with a lot of Mexicans, yeah? Uh, I have friends of every flavor. Okay, All right, that's not what we fucking ask. <laughs> every friends. flavor. Yeah, I have friends of every flavor. Oh, oh, so chocolate, vanilla, hazelnut, coffee, hummus. What's light brown? Hummus, ice. Oh, I was thinking ice cream flavors. Uh, but yeah, hummus would work. Yeah. I made ice cream yesterday. Did you? Yeah. That's uh, it's very Michigan. In- incredible, bro. Really? The best. I mean, it's my first time ever doing it, so I was like, it might not turn out. Did you like churn it and shit? So my yeah, Kevin. I guess that's butter. Kevin bought a ice cream maker. Okay. But so you just have to like you heat up the shit on the stove, stir it, whatever, then you chill it, and then you just put it in the ice cream maker for like twenty minutes and just churns it and freezes it. Mm. And it is like the creamiest fucking. Mm. I made peanut butter ice cream. Mm. Wild shit. You have like some chocolate syrup to put so, on top. So yeah, Hershey's chocolate oh, syrup. God damn. So that whole um, I'm gonna try not to get any fatter. I think is out the window. <laughs> you got an ice cream maker now. It's kind of a wrap for yeah, that. Yeah, bad idea. Yeah, but like great idea. Have you have you gained weight? I have gained weight. Yeah, yeah. how much? Uh, probably like five pounds. Oh, fuck off. Uh, I gained, we all weighed ourselves yeah, on Saturday. I gained, I gained twenty pounds in the last month. I'm up month. twenty. Dang. But it's all. But it's been since I sprained my ankle. Before we went to Joshua Tree, I also play basketball every day. You do? Yeah. Oh, nice. I, I shot around yesterday. Yeah, I, I, no, nothing. So my, I play FIFA a lot. We should get a game going. A basketball game? Yeah. But we're not going to do that because we're socially social distant. distant. Yeah. Everyone bring their own basketball, yep. and then we'll be like, "I, this is me passing to you, but you still hold on." And then the next person, well, I mean, that it's no, because we still gotta like touch each other. We can like, just play yeah. video games, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say we could just play like with the gloves. But I'm trying to get exercise. Yeah, me too. Ooh, we could get like you ellipticals. Play pig. We can get ellipticals and play video games. I yeah, I used to do that. Elliptical and video games. Yeah, or ellipti- I would do elliptical and read, or elliptical and watch TV. Huh. Yeah, but it's not the same as like running. 
No, but it's much easier. And yeah, running, that's what I'm saying. Running sucks ass. Yeah, but like running, like you feel like you're getting something done. I'm trying not to spend any more money on workout equipment because I just don't. No, you definitely. The only thing should. I use is the weights, especially if you're going to be getting ice cream machines <laughs> over to your <laughs> fucking kitchen. Like I don't. Have you been playing video games and not working out? Or um, what have you been doing? I I there was like a couple weeks where I was only playing video games. What, what were you playing? Uh, I played Outer Worlds. Okay. Which was great. Yeah. Um, I heard about that. I. Play this game called City Skylines, which is like is a, like the Sims, it's like a better Sim City. No, it's just city planning. You have to do like it's fun as shit. It's the most addictive game I've ever played. It's, yeah, it's like uh, if you want to do something like super, it's like when you're doing like franchise mode on like a video yes. game. You just want to do a bunch of meticulous yes. like, paperwork. Real time strategy game. Um, I have a NFL franchise, an NBA franchise, but I just I I'm <sighs> I'm just like sick. I'm sick of video games. I'm sick of TV. I'm sick of movies. I'm sick of reading. I'm I can't. Sick of I everything. Can't, I'd like uh, I can't pay attention to TV anymore. No, nothing. Like if I start, if I'm starting a new show, like I need to put my phone in like my room. I'm all in on TikTok. That's the only thing that makes me happy. TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. I find. I found out how to get it to be good. Yeah, it's just, you all, you, do all the hordes of all, college girls. Yeah, dancing. dude. Once you get past the fucking rich white chicks, all you have to do is like the funny videos because it, it, that that shit will curate for you so fast. So now I just get like weird, the funniest shit. It's oh. it's great. The best app I've ever been on. What in do my you life. What do you think of the uh, TikTok fans buying Trump tickets to? It rules, bro. This generation is gonna yeah. fucking. They're kicking our ass. We're the ones that raise them, so we get credit. No, we no. Yes, we're their. I mean, inter- not me. No, but, but we're, we are. <laughs> no, we are their internet parents. We open the door. for We them. told them what to think, but then they realize oh, we're full of shit too. We're like black people. They're like Egyptians. It's like, hey, we're gonna do all this work for us, but secretly, it's for everyone. Yeah. That's what he said. I, I He was wrong, too, but I see where you're coming from. Uh, yours is, make, is way more uh, validated than that bullshit he said before. Yeah. You think black people knew who Egyptians were? When they They're were like, hey, we got to do this rights? for us and Egyptians. Dude, it's they like, wouldn't even let us read. You think we knew Egyptians were coming? <laughs> or we <laughs> Egypt was? Like, Get out of here. Okay, that's racist. Uh, but yeah, no, they. I, I like the the next generation because I like how like they were like, okay, no, all this is bullshit. You guys helped raise us, well, but they, y'all full of shit too. On on TikTok, it's all like so they don't really bully as much as we did. Yeah, uh, they're very nice. There's a lot of like people with mental disabilities and stuff that they build up on TikTok, and it's like it's just like a caring community. They take depression seriously. They take mental illness seriously. It's like everything that Twitter thinks it is. Yeah, it's everything Twitter wishes it was. Um, they don't. I mean, like. There, it's not. There's not like these groups. I mean, I I also don't know it as well as I. I was gonna Twitter say, like, stuff. have you gotten to like alt right TikTok? I've seen some, yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it funny? No, but it's also like then the comments are just ripping those people apart. Yeah, they like um, just get that guy like fired or something. And yeah, but it's like, that's not. I mean, it it just feels so inclusive, and there's so many people that are mixed race now, where it's just like, eventually we're all gonna be a fucking glug of whatever, you know. I don't know if "glug"'s the right word, but <laughs> <laughs> I've been using "glug" a lot. It's a You're like word. a beautiful uh, yeah, bouquet it's, of no "glug" is pretty. Ooh, it's you a, said bouquet. I said bouquet. That reminds me, I'm a plant dad. Oh, congrats! Thank you. I have two plants. Two. I have three. I bought a daddy and a baby. Actually, I have four because there's two in my bathroom too. Um, they're called the ZZ plant. They're poisonous. You can't eat them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what the guy told me. <laughs> We went to the plant store. The guy was so excited. <laughs> it was like infectious. It ruled. The guy thought you were so fat. He had to tell <laughs> yeah, you just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot eat this. Just look at you, buddy. You, you can't eat it. Um, you water it once a month. It needs almost oh, really? no sunlight. Yeah, it's oh. a perfect plant. Yeah, that's, well, it's a shitty plant. It's called a ZZ plant. I got a money tree. I just, I don't have sunlight in my room. Yeah, no, I, you're right. Except for my radiant smile. <laughs> I also, my teeth are way grosser. My teeth are disgusting. I think I just forget to brush sometimes. Well, I don't do that. I brush in the morning at night, but I've just been smoking. I brush every night, but sometimes in the morning I I've just forget. I've been smoking so many more cigarettes. Nasty. I, yeah, it's gross. Well, especially in like, the beginning because I just wanted to go outside five times a day. Yeah. Just in my apartment. Yeah, it's like, something to shaking, do. Yeah. Just five minutes of fresh air even though I'm inhaling all this cancer. The other issue is like, the only time I feel productive is when I, I just took up baking. But then you're just eating fucking sugar and carbs all day. It's pretty tight. I mean, it rules, but it's also like, I got do, so yeah. fat. I'm going to have to go outside eventually. Now I'm trying to find projects to work on to like, keep, like I want to build a bed frame, but I'm like, is that too much? Yeah, that's uh you're going to have to call like Mitch to help you out with that. I mean, I I know how, I don't just don't know if I have all the tools, but it's not that, it can't be that hard. It can't be just that. wood. 
You could definitely do it. Like, you could do, like, a platform, like, bed frame. Yeah. Wait, do you not have a bed frame? I do. It's just, like, a shitty metal one. It's, like, a cheap metal one. I, uh, <laughs> I, bought, a, I bought a new bed frame, and I had to, like, put it together. From where? Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I forgot oh. the name of the company. But just, I don't know, it just makes my bed, like, way higher. I'm a Wayfair boy. You ever heard of Wayfair? I have heard of Wayfair. Love it. That sounds great. But uh, I was putting it together. I downloaded my... the app. I have points on my account. Is Wayfair, that's like uh, it's like Etsy, but for like chicks with money, right? No, it's just a furniture store. But they they uh, always, they put like Black Lives Matter, coronavirus oh, stuff. Oh, wow, nice. Okay. Big sales. Yeah. Uh, anyway. They just seem like a good company. I was building this bed frame, but I was building it in my living room. And then Diamond, she like came over to ask me for something. Building it or putting it together? Putting it together. Whatever, dude. Same difference. And she was like, you're not going to be able to get that in your room. And I was like, yeah, well, what the fuck are you talking about? And you uh, built it in the living room? Yeah. Why wouldn't you build it in your bedroom? Because it was like I had you to You know there's move. a door. Yeah, I had to like do move some shit around my bedroom. And it just made more sense to start doing it in my living room. And I finished my living room and uh, had to take it down and <laughs> <laughs> redo some things. <laughs> wasn't my proudest moment, but you know. Yeah, that. I put a. I, I got. So a, she was one hundred percent right, and yeah, then of course she, she was. <laughs> I got a computer chair off of Amazon, and I put it together, um, and I got it for Karina, and um, that was a couple weeks ago. And I sat in it uh, yesterday for five minutes, and I realized I put the seat on backwards. So when it you you don't recline, it's yeah. like trying to push you out of the chair. And she's just been chilling in it. Yeah, she's like, oh, I thought they, it they don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> She had no idea. <laughs> she thought uh, it was supposed to make her stand up straight. Oh, she thought you were like trying to get her posture fixed. Yeah. Oh, so I had to take off the the seat and then move it, and uh, and then you can lean back like a normal yeah person. Good for her. <laughs> How long did you have it? Two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's got work. Break this chair in. Nah, that's funny. It is funny, and I put that together. So putting shit together isn't that much fun. Yeah, working is not the most yeah, enjoyable like, thing you can do. Uh, even That's like, your take? No, even like when you get that like sense of accomplishment at the end, it's still just like, I wish I would have had someone else do this for me. Yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the most useless thing you bought? During right. quarantine? Yeah. We What we should have done is written down all the shit we bought and just read it off because, good God, how embarrassing. I mean, Kente cloth is my number <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't ever use that. Uh, I spent $200 on Guitar Hero Live. With two controllers. Oh, I've no. played it three times. Oh, no. Why did you buy it? Uh, who was I with? Chow, Diamonds, and Fury. We were talking about Guitar Hero one night. You're all doing drugs going, yeah. oh, we should get Guitar Hero. Yeah. And I, was like, I was like, I'll buy it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I Hell, it. yeah. I bought that, and I bought a pair of uh, aggressive inline skates that I got good at. I didn't get good at them. I used to be good when I was like a little kid. I thought I could just recapture that magic. Once I started feeling comfortable, I tried to jump on something and immediately shredded my ankle. He couldn't. We went to Joshua Tree. He couldn't even walk. It was the day before I went to Joshua Tree. Dang. His fucking ankles swole up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I had to keep getting him ice. No, he just kept throwing ice at me. I was like, I have ice. He'd be like, yeah, and then come over and hand me like a, a fistful of ice and just like drop it in my lap. <laughs> and I'd be like, this is so <laughs> unhelpful. It's a good bit. <laughs> it was a good I mean, yeah. <laughs> really funny. But I also did get you ice. You did get me ice after that. And before that. Yes, you did. No, because I'm a good fucking friend. Yeah, and good friends sometimes do funny things, <laughs> and don't get mad at them when they're funny. I mean, I don't think it's like a prerequisite for being a good friend to play pranks on someone. It definitely shows. It's how you show affection. I can appreciate that. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna bust my balls and not do exactly what I asked you to do. Just- I mean, asking for ice, then me getting. I got the tray of ice and broke it and put it into my hand and gave it to you. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Everyone laughed. It wasn't helpful, but it was funny. Fuck being helpful. Well, the world's not helpful. <laughs> also true. Um, Kanye announced a new album today. Wait, he's doing a new album too? With, with yeah. Dr. Dre, right? God's Country. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's more Jesus shit. Is that the one with I'm Dr. All Dre? In, baby. No, I think that's called um, Compton. I know he's doing something with Dr. Dre. The whole album? A project. There's, oh, yeah, because Dre needs some fucking money. There's no way Kanye would do a whole project with anybody at this point. Well, he did one with Jay Z, right? But that was back in the. That's when Jay Z was still better than him. Yeah, well, Jay Z's still better than him. Dude, crazy that Jay Z's still better than him. Jay Z's two best albums are collaborations. That's wild. You made this joke before on here, and it's (laughs) still not funny, (laughs) dude. That's crazy to me. Everyone thinks he's the greatest rapper. It's like put out your own good album. Uh, actually, his three best albums are collaborations. What's the third? What's the second? Collision Course with Linkin Park. What's the third? Uh, The first is Watch the Throne. uh, Best of Both Worlds with Jay Z and R. Kelly. 
I never heard that. I don't listen to R. Kelly. Never will. <laughs> <laughs> that guy pees on people. Yeah, he it's did. Disgusting. I agree with you. Not good. Oh, they had the song "Not Guilty." I'm fine with getting which was funny. It, like in retrospect, it's a song called "Not Guilty" with Jay Z <laughs> rapping and R. Kelly doing the hook. <laughs> Kells, pretty fucking guilty. It's Jay Z going, "I don't cheat on my wife," and it's R. Kelly going, "No, I don't it's Jay Z like girls. I don't like shoot people and shit." Oh, and he got acquitted. And well, R. yeah, R. Kelly's if he's not like I'll rape little girls, and it's like, but kind of do. Also, Jay, like you have to have some intel at that time to know that you can't. That's M- remember that. Age well. Remember that crazy fucking interview R. Kelly did on like Good Morning America or wherever. Fighting like, for my fucking life. He's like standing up in his yeah. chair, pointing to the camera and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Is this one on me? Is this one on me? Yeah, he's like crying. <laughs> Good God, dude! Calm yourself down before you do that shit. Or just like, <sighs> there's so much. Like, you, you just and, shut and the it, fuck up. His whole argument was like. Oh, I would be if I did that. They would make me stupid or something. Yeah. He's like, use some common sense. <laughs> it's like, well, that's not really an argument. So you, you did do something stupid. <laughs> yeah. Also, he, he's we, like, I couldn't do that. That I, that's insane. I would never do that. It's like, well, that can't be your only argument. Also, like, you're not really the beacon for intelligence here. Like, we know you can't. Read. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? R. Kelly. Well, if he was just uh, messing with all those high school chicks because he wanted to learn phonics. He wanted to learn phonics? Yeah, he wanted to get hooked on phonics. He needed someone to teach him. I think <laughs> Was that a good joke? No. <laughs> well, not for high school kids. <laughs> hooked on phonics is for children. Yeah, but children haven't like completed hooked no, on I phonics. No, I use it in high school. <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you probably did. Where'd you grow up? No, bullshit. I was smart as shit in high school, bro. In Michigan. And I went to a private school. And I was on a roll, so. Hmm. I went to private school. And I, I spoke at too. my graduation on Vicodin. They wouldn't let me speak at my graduation. Why were you on Vicodin? <laughs> I got my appendix taken out two days before graduation. Oh, my God. That sounds miserable. Oh, no. I didn't even speak. I prayed at graduation, I think. Oh, really? Me and Kelly Mings, my third grade crush. Kelly Mings? Rejected me out of a bus window. Is she Asian? No. Dutch. I, maybe I shouldn't say her name. Well, I think it's changed now, so it doesn't matter. Just a funny last name. Yeah, you don't know how to spell it, and I'm not going to tell you. I bet I could. M I N G H S. I will give you fifty tries. I bet you don't get it right. M I N H G H S. Mm hmm. N I G. Close. <laughs> um. Cam- oh, and Cam Newton signed to the Patriots. That's yeah. other news. Hell yeah. yeah. They upgraded. I'm excited for that. You think he's gonna start? Yeah. What the fuck is a Stidham? That's a that's the guy's last name. I know, but if you just go like, come on, Cam Newton. I mean, they've been talking him up though. They've been talking about when they didn't have Cam Newton on yeah, the team. Yeah, that's going like, to be fun to shut watch. Shut the fuck up and sit Bill down. Belichick with Cam Newton is going to be real it's gonna fun. Be, I was think I tweeted today. It was, uh, can't wait to if watch. If we have football. Can't wait to watch all the Boston fans like not be able to call Cam a nigger because <laughs> the climate's just way too hot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Boston's always been good at um, supporting yeah, they're their really players. Yeah, they like race relations. Well, they're bad with race relations, but they don't call their players names. Yeah, they do. They well, they call other players names. Uh, Mookie Betts. They, well, I, here's my thing. I think that – Bill Russell used to walk around Boston with a gun. Yeah, but that was a different time. I think that Boston puts forty years ago. Boston puts sports in front of race. Yes, like the thing they care they care Unless more about you're sports like Carl than race. Crawford, and you're not doing good at the sport, and then which yeah, then they'll say so shit. Yeah. But then that's because you're losing for them. So then yeah. you know, then yeah, you, you let kinda, loose. You earned it, you earned it at that that's point. That's pretty woke. It's just light though. Boston on fire, bro. Yeah, Boston's pretty bad, but it's like Boston's like it's every city, you know. Well, I've seen the town. You ever seen the town? <laughs> I've seen the town with Ben Affleck. It's an okay uh, movie. And uh, and what's his name? Kyle Hawkeye. Corny. Yes, Jeremy Rennie. Yeah. Also, Jeremy Renner's a weird guy. Probably. Seems no, he like had it. like, he started like that one like social media app that only like he <laughs> used. <laughs> yeah. and then and people... it was just, but it was just like videos of him singing. What happened though? Didn't people like troll it? Yeah. And it got, it got taken down. Yeah, it was dumb. Yeah. And he's like, I'm really sorry. I was really excited for this app <laughs> where it was just like pictures of his face or something. Uh, imagine like what a weird pitching time. that to him and he's just like yeah i'm gonna spend some marvel money on this you know what <laughs> yeah. yes you're right look how rich i am let's just make an app of me yeah Jeez, idiot um if you had jeremy render money well all right how rich do you have to be to be talked into that being a good idea i don't have to be rich at all i'd do it yeah but it's because you're broke and it could potentially make you rich if they were like, you have to pour in thousands of dollars of your own money. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would you go. Have to, yeah, like, let's go. I'll get a loan. <laughs> no, you would. Donald Trump's paying me. I believe in myself that much. I'll Hell get a yeah, loan. dude! Everyone's asking for a daddy app. Lock talk. <laughs> Ooh. It just vid- um. God, when I start to think of funny things, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> it's just TikTok, but like. 
well, it's, it's just, just like, videos of you scrolling. Just my no, fat no. ass dancing. Oh, yeah. it's just it's a video of me scrolling through. TikTok. No, it's just no, it's just like like when they scroll, it's just continuously videos of you. No yeah. one else could like make videos. Yeah, yeah. But you actually, you could like pick like ten people a day that can, and then then they can make videos on Lock Talk. Yeah. So every day it's like ten more people, and they're all just competing to try it. Yeah, actually, I think we got something here. And I have to thumbs up or thumbs down. Yeah. And if I thumbs down, they get kicked off the app. Yep. Or killed. Or someone uh, can kill. Raise them. the stakes, Josh. I like that too. <laughs> And if they, if I get my thumbs up, they can choose to either have sex with me or make me dinner. I think they just they get to join you on the platform. Or they can join the platform. Yeah. They get to choose from those three. <laughs> and you're anyone gonna, can choose gonna, anything. You're going to be inclusive. so mad when you just get, like, it's like day 12 and you just have, like, 10 dinners made for you. You think that would make me mad? Well, no sex and no one else wants to join the app. That's my regular life. Well, that's true. Damn. <laughs> it wouldn't change anything <laughs> except I get free dinner. <laughs> that sounds great. I'll take that's whatever. So um, that's all I have for news. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah. Dr. Dre, uh, his wife filed oh, for Oh, he's doing an album with Kanye. Well, because his wife filed for divorce this morning. Is that true? Yep. I didn't know he was married. And They've been married for 20-something years. What? In, in the state of California. Mrs. She Dre? She automatically gets half. What? So no, even if you have a prenup? They, oh, there was no prenup. Sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Good for her. Yeah, she just made $400 million. Coming out big, baby. Yeah. I, I don't... Uh, has she produced anything? I haven't heard one beat out of her. How do you know? Mac Dre? They've been together for over name? 20 years, and they have two kids together. Who is she? I don't... F- she was They've the been wife. together for 20 years? Yeah. And they got divorced during quarantine? That's so sad. I mean, it's, oh. it's probably a They probably have a big fucking probably house. a very common tale across the country. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of divorces, a lot of uh, pregnantitos, maybe. Yeah. La domestic. That's how you say pregnant in Spanish. Oh, okay. that's not how you say pregnant in Spanish. How pregnant would you know? Do. You take Duolingo. Yeah, I I got time in the app too, buddy. Oh, I've never used it. Oh. Do, you, do you guys? I think, thought about it. You guys think that the restaurants are going to get uh, shut down again? Like hopefully, there's wave? fucking people eating out right now. Yeah, but do you think we're we're heading there? It's insane. I mean, I don't know. They just shut down all the bars again. I, I don't know why anything's open. It's so silly to me. I think it's going to be like a deliver point. your food. It's going to be like in a month where it's going to be like, all right, like we don't care anymore. The government's gonna be like, you want to open? Either open. that or in a month, it's going to be like, no, now it's mandatory quarantine. You can't leave your house. Yeah. I mean, it could go one of two ways. I'm supposed to fly to Michigan in August. You already bought a ticket? Mm hmm. It was $200 a round trip. How am I not going to buy that? <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. To see my fa- my family? Why you say family? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, to see my family. It's because you wanted to say friends at first, but no, it's because I was thinking um, that I was only seeing half my family, but everyone's going to be there. Is your stepdad going to be there? Hell yeah, I'm going to kiss his lips. <laughs> Is it like a family? Reunion? We do. Me and my stepdad do a bit where we kiss each other, not like make out. We yeah, do. I kiss him on the lips to be funny. Yeah, and he's like, "Well, I got to connect with this kid somehow." I, mean, I like him. The older I get, the more I like him. That's good. Yeah. That's how it should be with uh, parents. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice if I liked them. Well, it's like you love them, right, when you're like a baby. Yeah. You're like a toddler because that's all you know. And then you're like fucking 12 and you're like. And then they treat you like shit. This motherfucker's got to stop telling yeah. me what to do. <laughs> yeah. Then you like get a he little did? Bit older. One time I talked back when my mom was at home and he grabbed my arm. And I will always remember that. My grandfather did that to me once. You, don't, know, you can't grab my like, arm. No, I was like six. <laughs> Is that what I was you like, told him? Like, hey, man, you can't grab I my arm. I was like six no, or I seven. I started crying. I was like six or seven, and he like grabbed my arm. I told him, I was like, you're not even my real grandfather anyway. Damn. <laughs> my mom's uh, mom, I got remarried, my grandmother. Did they get pissed at you? I once said that he's not my real dad, and my mom was like, almost said shit. <laughs> she was fucking pissed. Uh, no, I don't think anybody got pissed at me. I think it was just like, well. You can't talk that shit. Kid's got a point. Yeah, I mean, be my be my real granddad or yeah, the fucking step off, dude. Either way, just don't touch me like that. Don't fucking touch me like that. It was like different because we like we grew up in the same house. Is like, pops a granddad or or dad? Uh, I, I I go pops for a dad. Interesting. Yeah, dad. Yeah. Grand grandpa's pa- like uh, pop 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 pop. What is that from again? Pop pop. Oh, uh, Arrested Development. Uh, I was I said pop pop when I was a little kid. You did? Yeah. Pop 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 and nanny. I like it, but you can't be older than, like, five and say it. Pop-pop? I mean, I stopped. <laughs> Probably around, like, five. Yeah. You, you stopped up. <laughs> stop, stop. God, it feels weird to have people laugh at what you say, especially when it's not funny. Uh, Why, like oh, Kevin and Becky, oh. or um, your roommates, they don't laugh at what you say? No, nothing. Nah. Are we going uh, to talk about the NBA? Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you guys have picks? Do you, do you guys agree with them playing? Do you think, as the only black man here, oh, God, Matt, 
I got the Jays on today. Do you think the NBA should resume with the climate of racial issues going on yes. in America? Yeah, and they let people not play if they don't want to or whatever. I mean, I don't, I don't think them playing takes away from any movement. And yeah. if anything, it gives them a louder voice if they want to speak out. It I puts agree. them back in the spotlight. I agree. Put and I, and M- the NBA is the best at doing that for players, and the players are the best at speaking out when they want to. I will to, say right? this. Uh, they can't get the credit for being, like, the most woke league anymore. Why? Because this is just stupid, putting all these people down in fucking Florida. Why? Cause he, okay, but listen. All the stars want to play. Yeah. All the teams want to play. All the fans want them to play. Who is it stupid for? All the people who aren't stars, like it, people are gonna. Get but they sick. don't have to play. That's true. There's already people opting paid? out. They still get paid. Probably not, bro. If I don't show up to my job, I don't expect to get paid. Yeah, but if your job is make you do something fucking unsafe, then you have to make a choice. You go, is my job more important than me? The NBA is, and if you don't play, you're a coward. <laughs> 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 now I was already thinking like, if the store was like, hey, we're opening the patio, you have to come work and be like, I quit. Yeah, I'm not. No, like a- Avery Bradley opted out. So, but he already played 75 percent of the season. He'll probably get 75. Yeah, I'm sure of the he still get. They, I mean, they definitely got paid for what. I they feel like I just already. feel like they have to. Like, it's a bad look if they don't pay him for the people who opt out. Yeah, but it's also kind of a bad look if they do. Why? For the other players. Well, no, they want to play. Like you don't have to play. You can still. We'll still honor your I don't, contract because it's a fucking. Pandemic I do think they're still on. honoring all the contracts. Okay, all, okay? That, I mean, then it's yeah. Uh, it's not like baseball where or they're trying NFL. to f- fuck everybody over. Yeah. Oh, the NFL is just they're they're fuck full the go. NFL. They're full go. That's why I kind of like like the way they took it. They're like, well, oh, but like, they're not trying to work anything. They're just planning on this being done in time, and it's like that's not that's gonna backfire. Yeah. So probably, many football like college teams and shit keep testing well, positive. College, I think they they're coming to a real crossroads there because you can't have these kids playing for free. Yeah, and they're but, all just like testing positive. But I think the NBA is doing it right, putting them in the bubble, not allowing them leave, testing every day. They got these like t- the, high tech well, rings that that'll check. They're your, not your, that high tech. They're doing. It. You can get. They're like three hundred bucks. They're doing it right because they're talking to the players who represent the yeah. league. Yeah, and yeah. it's like if we can all agree on something, then it's the right thing. And I I, I don't mind them playing. Like, Adam Silver's I'm a good guy. I yeah, think. He, he's. I think really it's good. just it's just I just think it's incredibly dangerous. Yeah, but not for us. Who cares? But, That's true. Okay, you think you're, you're, these fucking multimillionaires are going to get coronavirus, bro? Yeah, we they figured are. out. The, we figured out the only way to cure no, no, is to they, be rich. They literally are getting it. Who? They tested like the league, didn't they? It was like five percent of them had it. I didn't hear that. Uh, oh. Like fifteen players. Do had some it. research, uh, bro. But it's I don't not, do research. Out of, out of I pretend like, I to know what like I'm talking 300. about. Yeah, no, so five percent. I mean, if they if they think that they can test them all and keep them all safe, then I then I. It's also like all the people who are going to be working there; they're not going to be like quarantined. Okay, so they're going to be going out in the middle of Florida. You're more worried about uh, the COVID thing. You're not really worried about the the racial climate. Oh no, I I trust LeBron. (laughs) He's going to get that shit off. It's going to make people real uncomfortable. It's going to be sick. I'm. I think that's yeah. I'm not worried about those now. And they're doing the the names on the back of the jerseys thing, which is going to be funny. Yeah. Wait, Kyrie, oh really? Oh, really? Uh-huh. oh shit! I saw it was like uh, they were asking if defund the police could fit on the back of a jersey, um, and they figured out. You see the John Morant? Jay Gildress Alexander was more letters. Yeah. Do you see the John Morant <laughs> meme? Did you see the it apology? Says, Fuck twelve. <laughs> Did you see the apology? No, John Morant <laughs> issued an apology. Yep. Oh shit! Like last night. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie is gonna be is gonna put trillion on the back because that's how much debt the United States is in. Trillion. Yeah. All right. Stay woke. Thanks, Spence. Thanks, yeah. Do you follow him on Twitter? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a weirdo. He's always talking about cryptocurrency. You know who he wanted to sign a contract in Bitcoin. You know who? Oh, oh yeah, I do remember God. that. Oh, he was also, wasn't he like, uh, he was like doing something weird where like people could buy in like stock yeah, yeah. options for his contract? Yeah. Decide where he goes or yeah. something? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I like, I like, like him. I think he's probably right, but it's just like, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. I don't understand any of it, yeah. so it's like, whatever. It's do also your thing. Like, not shut up and dribble, but yeah, relax. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't gotta talk about that shit. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hey, look, look. This is that. the segment of our podcast where Ari interrupts us. Eating Skittles. Well, you're 19 minutes past your time. No, we're not. You said 2:30. No, you said 2:30. I said two. You never told me two o'clock, Ari. You said one to two. That's not true. Yeah, and it's not two thirty. Right. I, I was the part of that conversation, but also you it's know. not two thirty. You got my back. Antonio Hinchcliffe isn't here yet, and we're still recording. How's it going? 
It was going a lot good. better until about I don't know, say ninety seconds ago. What up, Ari? I'm glad to see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh, what, what what do you care about this week? Or this last month and a half? I mean, three months, really. Whatever, dude. What the fuck is time anymore? <laughs> um, Rhode Island is going to change their name. To what? Uh, they're just voting to get it changed. They don't have another idea. They just want to call it Rhode <laughs> they, Island. They might have. Well, idea. it was like it was the road something Rhode Island. I know uh, the word uh, fucking what's the plantation was in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's it's Rhode Island and Providence plantations or something like yeah. that. But right. they're in the north. So. Oh, is that why soup plantation shut down? Exactly. No, I think it was because it was just soups everywhere and people breathing on them. That's and they want to change the name of the master bedroom. Yeah, they're not going to say master bedroom anymore. Yeah, just like just do the that, things that, that people are asking mind. for. That's like, my mind. Like, <laughs> I had no. They canceled Paw Patrol. Yeah, it's just so fucking performative. It's yeah. crazy, especially with all uh, the Black Lives Matter on the streets. Yeah, it's like but, it's it's cool, but it doesn't solve anything. The one on Hollywood Boulevard, I was like passing by there for like good two weeks. I had no idea what it was, and I was so fucking pissed <laughs> I couldn't go fucking straight. And I was like, I finally like because I was painting? coming back one day and they finally like opened it up. I was like, oh. Okay, I think I like this. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, whatever. But I had no idea that the master bedroom even had anything to do with the. Yeah, I never yeah, thought me either. That. That's it just, how deep it, it is. makes it makes like perfect sense though when you play yeah. it out. But yeah, I didn't know. I call it the master bait bedroom. That's where I used to go to jerk off. Was my parents' room. Just it smelled better. Anything else, Josh? Um, it was foul. Gross. They were divorced. It was it was another <laughs> NBA thing. Like the like whoever wins this season, it's not a normal season. Do you think that they should have like an asterisk it, on the season? It depends dep- who wins. It depends on how good the games are. Yep, and depends who wins. If it's LeBron, absolutely not. If it's Kawhi, absolutely not. Celtics, I'll give them a championship. Who do you think is gonna win? The fucking Nets? No, the, but if they did, it'd be asterisk, fine. Asterisk oh. now for so sure. So what asterisk. team wouldn't get an asterisk? Uh, Lakers, okay. Celtics are okay. You just said LeBron. LeBron yeah. plays for the Lakers. No, I, you said wouldn't or would? Would. Oh, okay. Not. The Nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> Nuggets, they're asterisky. They're they at, can't they're win. Risky. But if they do, that's asterisk. Jazz? For sure asterisk. Rockets? Actually, if the Jazz win, I might give it to them because they got a lot of turmoil in there. They had to overcome a bunch of shit. They're not going to win? Probably not. They but hate they, each other. Rockets? The Rockets? No, I'd give it to them. I'd give it to... No asterisk for the Rockets? No. That's a win. Ugh. I like James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Ugh. Me too. Uh, I no hate asterisk. James Harden. No, why? I love Russ, but I hate James Harden. Why? Me too. He's, He's so sucks. smooth. Which which one is it? I, Me I too. Agree. You like both of I them, agree or with you both of you? <laughs> he just him and Russ. I the problem I have with them is neither of them seem like they're having fun playing basketball. Russ has fun when he's dancing. Right, but Russ can have fun, but it's only when he's winning. No, it's James like, Harden has fun too. No, he always all when he's he does like making is someone whine. fall and like looks at him and like yells and like when he's doing like ah oh, like yeah, that shit. It's like shit. mad cool. Yeah, that looks like fun. Uh, I mean, it looks like fun. Is he having fun? He's just angry. Are you having fun when you're yelling? Yes. So what's the difference? I'm not. I'm different. I don't have a beard. Well, I do. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's a joke. That's all you have. Yeah. All right. I guess that's all. That's all. That's all. Keep folks. it short and sweet. We probably can't do that. Save anymore. some of this for everything else. Are they going to cancel Looney Tunes? Um, no. But Elmer Fudd doesn't have a gun anymore. He's useless. Yeah, so, so he just has he's white gonna privilege. He's going to hunt with um, white privilege. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, cool. That's it. Uh, stay safe. Don't get corona. Or do. It's your choice. Free yeah, country. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. We'll see you next Bye. week. <laughs>